Hi guys, my name's Adam Turning. This is my boat, absolutely. I've owned boats pretty much since I was 25 years old, and within about three weeks of being introduced to sea fishing, actually, it was pretty immediate. I got hooked straight away, and uh, never looked back. We're trying to catch some bay fish at the moment, not too successfully. So then the plan is to head out the front, up north drop in a few pins and try and get some kingfish, but uh, we might be jigging instead of live baiting the way we're going, but we haven't given up just yet. Are you getting anything at all? It's looking pretty good. Me and bait, they're not my best friends sometimes, because I'm just getting used to overnighting in the boat, and even in the mornings, the type of fishing we do, so I'm changing the way I fish. So bait fishing's uh, been a challenge for me, but I'm really getting it nailed. It's looking good though. That's a nice little fish, isn't it? I'll get my big game net out. Oh, my net's just about big enough. Yeah, perfect. Cheers. Oh yeah, here we go. If you can't get one out of this. Oh yeah, now we're talking. We'll add a mark onto that. Beautiful, I like your work. Oh, he went straight in, mate. That was just perfect. Okay, I'll go back up. So we'll come back on that mark. Oh yes, fish on. Nice. You fell hooking them now, there's that many there. It's carnage back there. Oh, that's beauty. Oh, look at that. It's always the skipper takes credit for every fish that comes on this boat. The anglers are just the vessel. We, we did well, it took a bit of a slow start, but as the light came up, we nailed the bait fish, filled up the tanks. You looking for the bacon? Yeah. It's in the back fridge, mate. Crew, well, we got Chris and we've got uh, Rob, a couple of long-term friends. Chris has been fishing with me 10 if not 15 years, and Rob's been around boats with me since the beginning, really. It certainly helps to have a good crew. It's a big rig to get in and out of the water, but it makes it fun. Very important we keep hydrated. It's either coffee or uh, other beverages. Look at that, beautiful. Some eggs on. How's the bacon? Oh, look at that. Outstanding, coming along nicely. Oh, thank you, outstanding. Look at that. Living the dream. So oh, beautiful, guys. Thank you. Oh, it's very, very nice. Well, we're just having a dive. I've got two divers in the water. Thought I'd have a sneaky little fish while we were waiting. I never know. Every now and again, you put out a nice snapper. The country we were diving looked amazing. It just, oh, if it didn't have craze, it would have been a beautiful dive anyway. So, you know, we do everything. It doesn't matter if we're fishing or diving, it's about being in the environment. Look at that. That's my ch biggest fish of the day. Look, that's, that's how we start. That's how we do it on Absolutely. You know, we only catch the, uh, we only catch the big ones. There you go, mate. Beautiful. We're just gonna head over and hopefully get some success. We might have a couple of crayfish for dinner. Okay, we're in neutral. The boys come up, so it was stunning. Oh, nice work. Oh, that's a couple of nice crays in there. Well done, mate. You can come back on. How about your buddy? Is he allowed back on? Grab one of those. Grab the little one. Are they all legal? We have to measure them, won't we? <laughs> well, we'll put them in here for a start. I think those bait fish will get out of the way. So we've just come from our dive spot about, uh, I suppose about five nautical miles away, five to ten nautical miles. We travelled over here on one of the pins, so we're having a go with some liveries for hopefully pick up a kingfish. Yeah, now these definitely are fish, boys. Yeah, there's our fish, we just have to hit them. Oh my god, that's great. They're at 25 to 40 metres. Anything, Chris? Yep, yep, fish on. Bit of fun. It's gonna be a bit of a fright, actually. <laughs> I was trying to look after the helm and got, wasn't really holding my rod. Oh, look at that, a nice pink mau mau. Well, that's what we must be marking. Headed out to a couple of pins for uh, some kingfish, and look, that didn't work for us. We ran some liveries and nothing. We, the current was perfect, it all looked good. So we've changed our plans. Cheers. We headed out eight nautical miles. We had to go for um, some groper. Caesar's got as it's been all week. 
Look, if you don't try, you don't get, so we'll have a go and see what happens. That was just a spur of the moment, the conditions are right, so we whipped out the electric wheel and had the sockets in place, so you just flick a switch and they're all powered up. But literally, I've got everything ready to go, and you've got game gear, I've got light tackle, so I'll get anything from bait fish to marlin. Very much got a dream boat, it's one of those boats you lie in bed, you think about, you, you dream about it, you build it in your head, and you put it together, and it's certainly been worth the wait. So uh, very, very happy uh, with the results, and now I suppose I just have to catch some fish, see how we go. Stressful fishing over there, Chris. You reckon I should check those baits to yeah, you, Chris? Just for you. Here we go, look, it's very stressful. Here we go. Are you ready for it? Oh. We got plenty of battery, mate, look. Plenty of battery here. How's yours feeling over there? How's your battery going, mate? Are you charging it up with a beer? Charging that battery up? You know, I've got something on. Oh, I'm getting tired. My back's getting a bit sore, Chris. Look how skillful I am. Look, look I've missed an, I missed an eye. <laughs> Can't blame the crew for that one. I reckon. Um, yeah, 25 ounces. 25 ounces of the lead. <laughs> oh, we stopped. Oh, what is it? That's a good one. Okay, in we go, and then we'll get a bag of ice. Make up a slurry. All right, up and over. We missed on the groper, but we've got a gem fish. And so we got to go at those, and then we came back in and we went right back to the same spot, three hours later, and we're straight into snapper. That's a snapper, isn't it? That's a nice snapper, Chris. Getting quite an interesting catch. Yeah. Oh yeah, I just got hit. Oh yes, yep, fish on. Woo hoo! Oh no, it's a kingy. Look at that, we came here this morning, we couldn't even get anything. Little rat kingy. Cheers. Fish on. Oh, look at that. Man, if we get a couple of fish every drop though, that'll be fun. Oh, that's another nice fish. God, it's getting oily, calm. And then we're gonna go in and stay the night at the Cavallis and just looked at the weather report and we decided to come up to Whangaroa Harbour. We just stopped and caught a few snapper. The wind's going to swing around a bit tonight and get up to maybe 20 knots. So we're going to head down to Whangaroa. We'll spend the night there, but instead of just going down there at 20 knots, we'll cruise down at seven and a half knots in a beautiful evening. Trolling a couple of kingy lures, you never know. Caught the old uh, kingy just trolling from A to B. Chris is going to fill up the fish. I'll get some sashimi and some ikimata going, and then we're going to have a Thai green fish curry for dinner with rice. So we'll have that all done and ready by the time we get into our moorings. Often we just focus on catching a variety of fish and enough fish for the day and then uh, it's all about enjoying it and yeah, making the most of it. So it's the freshest fish you can get, we icky it, we put it straight on ice, we're always carrying a lot of ice on board, we've got freezers and we carry a second chilli bin just full of salt ice and that'll keep up to a week. So we pull out a bag of salt ice every day. You can't beat fresh fish. Straight off the hook, icky into ice, chill it down, filleted it, and onto the table, and we literally eat ourselves silly. Beautiful. You've got to see this. I don't have young film. This is brilliant. So we get to store all the um, important stuff, all the sauces and gins and drinks. I'll get you some tonic. honoured in a way that we can access it. It allows me to get out in this environment and uh, really, really enjoy it. I don't want to be anywhere else. It's fantastic. You just can't walk away from it without looking back over your shoulder at it. It's just a, it's a beautiful piece of kit. I hope I didn't build you boys up too much. I was going to say they're good, but I couldn't call you great. I don't think you stretched into a great. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get the great, Chris. 